Hey everybody, Eduardo Talbert with MonsterTutorials.com. Uh, on a previous episode, I went shopping and I got a bunch of these uh, plastic skulls from the dollar store for a dollar. And the challenge was to take three of them and corpse them in three different ways. So the first one we corpsed was this guy. Some of you may have seen the, this uh, tutorial already. If not, it's linked below. And today we went for the second type of corpsing and it turned out like this. See that? It's supposed to be kind of like a mummified head. So if you want to see how this was done, stay tuned and we'll get started. All right, let's get started. So, need a cheap skull, okay? Uh, toilet paper, the cheapest you can find. Institutional, prison, whatever. Uh, some water and school glue. About half and half. I'm using about a half an ounce of water, half an ounce of glue. Then we need a couple brushes, some paints. I got brown, black, white. Then I have some uh, nail polish. And I think that's it. And maybe some wood stain. But I'm still not sure if I'm going to use that or not. I might use it on the exposed parts of the helmet so I don't have this yellow look. So before I get started with the corpsing, I'm going to do some prep work like we did with this guy here. And that is, uh, I'm going to paint the teeth with uh, white nail polish just to make it stand out. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the eye sockets, the nose, and in between the teeth with black color really dark so it looks like it's uh, deep it gives it a little depth so let's get started with this thing all right so the prep work is done i painted the eye sockets the nose and the teeth so that's ready so let's get started with the corpsing for that like i said we need a little bit of water and glue about the same amount in both and we're going to need some toilet paper but uh, try to get rid of the straight edges so cut your squares and take the rip the edges off so we don't have any straight lines for what I have in mind I'm going to cover the eyes and uh, I'm going to leave the nose slightly uncovered I'm going to leave the mouth uncovered I'm just going to make lips around it and then I'm going to have a couple holes on the top uh, and sides. Other than that we're going to cover the whole thing with uh, the toilet paper. All right, so I'm just going to paint some of the water glue mixture and then just put a piece of toilet paper on top of it. Just like that. It doesn't matter how wrinkled it is. I like it really wrinkled. It looks more like a real mummy mummified skin and let's do this all around the skull make sure to overlap we're going to do this all around and I am covering the eyes and you'll see why when we're done okay I've got the first layer all over the skull okay and it's still wet so I'm going to put another layer while it's still wet and then I'm going to use this toothpick to uh, sculpt some of the details. So let's do one more layer. Uh, I covered the eyes. I did cover the nose but I'm going to open it uh, when we're done. And I covered the mouth partially on the sides and uh, I just went up to the gums on the top and bottom. Other than that the whole thing is uh, covered and nice and wrinkled. Okay I have a second layer right now done. So the sculpting I'm going to do is just uh, push while it's still wet some of the toilet paper gently down to make it look like the lips have ripped a little bit here on the side too and uh, top lip the other thing I wanted to do was a crack on the skull like right around here where the where the skin has cracked off and you can see the skull so all I'm doing is dragging this and just moving it so it exposing a little bit of the skull 
I'll do the same here with the nose just uh, tear it open but leave some of the pieces like sticking out so it looks like there was some skin there before uh, maybe a little bit on the chin here where the bone is exposed I think that's enough let's not overdo it so now we're going to let this dry thoroughly okay this is dry to the touch now so it's all the way dry and the parts where we ripped so we have the lips we have the different areas there's the crack on top it's all dry so the next step is I'm going to take some black latex paint and paint everything that is covered in paper so I'm not going to paint any of the plastic or the teeth but all this skin that we created eyes and everything I'm going to paint it all in black latex which gives it like a nice thick rubbery coating Okay, this is covered all in the black latex paint. This is uh, just exterior latex. So we're gonna let this dry and we're going to start the dry brushing and, uh, and then the treatment for the teeth and the bone. The latex coat is now dry. So let's get started with the dry brushing. I'm going to do like a gray brown color all over the black area. All I'm doing is just rubbing it into the finish right now. Doesn't matter if you co don't cover it all the way because the black uh, will show through and it'll look like deeper areas. That's the first coat. And that's kind of a brown gray look. And it's already pretty dry. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more white and do another coat. Another two coats of progressively lighter colors. And this time with a much drier brush. I'm going to make sure I take the excess off of my brush before I uh, go over the skull. And I'm going to do it very lightly. Okay, this last coat is just a highlight. So it's just almost like a light gray. And I'm gonna go even drier brush and even lighter uh, brush. And just try to hit the high spots like these uh like these cheekbones, the forehead, maybe the jawline, the chin. See how the details start to jump out? All the wrinkles that you put in that toilet paper start coming out. It's looking better already. Yeah, I'm done with the dry brushing. It looks much better. I'm going to take this little pick and just uh, to clean around the areas where I got the paint all over just to get it off like this. I might have to put some more enamel or nail polish on it to clean it up but I don't like how this looks. So I'm going to clean up a little bit around the teeth and any other areas where the liquid late where the la latex paint ran over. It's pretty easy, it just peels right off as you can see. Right, that's done. Now I'm going to take this knife and I'm going to cut some uh, some eye slits right here, just clear across. Okay, and then gently I'm going to just pry them open. And that's why we painted the inside of the eye socket black. Just gently give it the shape you like. You might have to paint the eyelids a little bit on the inside if some of the paper comes out, but this will look pretty, pretty cool. See that? How's that looking? Pretty good? Right, I'm going to touch up the teeth and then we're going to get to staining the bone here, here, and on this crack. Right, I finished touching this up, so I'm going to take the stain, the same that we used on the previous skull, which is just a wood stain, cognac color. And I'm just going to use this uh, 
Q-tip and just uh, rub it over and then wipe it off immediately. Now I'm going to do it right here. See what? Oh, we have one right here. Okay. That's it, right? Yep. That's looking pretty cool. All right, we're done. And this turned out pretty cool. That's like a mummified head right there. So all we did was uh, glue and water mixture with toilet paper for the corpsing. Then a couple coats of like dry brushing, uh, progressively lighter from starting with black and all the way to gray with a hint of brown. And then a little bit of, uh, of stain just on the little details. So there's the second skull in the series. If you haven't seen the first one, it looks like this. Uh, there will be a link below where you can see how we corpse that one. This is the second one, so if you think this is cool, give it a thumbs up. If you think this is cool, the biggest thing you can do for me is share it or just comment. Now, so far, which one do you like better, this guy or the human barbecue? I think they're both pretty cool. So, in the next show, we're going to be doing the third one. I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do, so if you have any ideas, just write them below. It'll help me a ton. So again, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, share it, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next show. For Monster Tutorials, I'm Eduardo Talbert. See you next time.